Extreme Trickery with Shadow Box. Here I have this gun. Okay? It's just black and white. They're separated pretty deeply by a big wide group. Okay? Keep in mind, you have to do that. You have to get a very big groove in there. If you do not, things will start joining. In fact, here I noticed that this wasn't wide enough. So I'm going to kind of repair that and save it out. This is saved onto my desktop and I'm going to show you how to use it. First off, we're going to import it. Then I'm going to choose a shadow box session. Then I'm going to go into the right view. And really only the right view. So I can hit shift and control to get rid of the rest of them. Then I'm going to choose a tool here called the mask rectangle tool. Hold control down and mount the alpha of the gun. Hold control and command down to click and drag from one corner to the next. Okay, I like it. I need it more res. So over here, under subtools, I'm going to add 300 res, one polish. Okay. Again, control, command, click and drag will give me this. That's perfect. Okay, now it's really thick. So let me show you how to get rid of the thickness. Control and shift anywhere will bring back the rest of these. Control and shift on this one. I'm going to do some trickery to it. I need to add a shadow to the bottom, but I cannot uncheck the shadow box. And the reason for that is this is at a good resolution right now. If I go out and back in of shadow box to update the shadow, it will not be good. I, I can't put it in any other terms than that. So control, let's get rid of that one. Let's turn on symmetry. Okay. Hit control and command. Click and drag. And now I had a symmetrical weapon. So control alt command will allow me to trim it up some like that and now I can get it out of shadow box once it's out of shadow box you'll notice that it's not grouped together right so I can go down here to polygroups and auto group these together now they're individual parts. Now each one of these are going to be a little bit different as far as scaling them, moving and manipulating and sculpting on them. So what I can do here is group split them. And I can start working with the sculpt tool. Now I'm going to do this for a couple of these, not all of these because it would take forever, but I'll show you a couple of these on techniques to start sculpting some hard edges on things. Alright, so meet me in the next video.